Who are we romancing this run? We are romancing everybody. Yes, everybody, indeed. Um, is the mod pack list that you used? Okay, now that we're in the game, this is on YouTube. This is this is a, a red-eyed monster and Teclios. Let's officially start it right here. First of all, as Jerry with the 25 bomb and Scrum F86. Thank you guys both for the bombs. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Awesome. Sorry I missed those earlier. A lot going on. Second of all, hi! We're here with Dragon Age Origins, and I'm super excited to play this game for you. Uh, this is one of my favorite games that I've played in decades. Uh, it is a it is a testament to awesome, deep RPGs. We are going to be playing it now, particularly for you over on YouTube, um, but also, of course, my Twitch family that may have not seen it for the seven-plus years um, that I have not been playing it which is frankly too long. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna play yet. We're gonna kind of feel it out. I've got some ideas and um, yeah, I hope you join me. Now, quick note, IB Sammy, thank you for the five. I appreciate it, thank you so much. A um, Couple quick notes here. Um, first, let's fix our volume real quick. Maybe a little low, we'll see. So folks are saying, is this run modded? And the short answer is yes, this run is modded. Uh, if you go to co.tv slash DAO mods. That will take you to this very well put together post that Nuriel has made that lists all of the mods that we are playing this run. So if you would like to check out any of the mods, you can see them all here. We would like to make you a pack, but unfortunately, uh, numerous mod people here, numerous mod people here, um, is uh, have stated that they don't want to be a part of packs. Yeah. Um, that that are kind of like larger than they already are. So out of respect to them, uh, we are not making a pack for you guys, but you can go here and get it. By the way, somebody earlier said that stuff was rehearsed. No, it wasn't. I never rehearsed my stuff ever. I have an idea about what I'm gonna say, but I never rehearsed that stuff and I don't have a script or anything. Um, who's got time for that, man? I got three kids. Anyway, uh, so this is where everything is available and you can kind of see everything here. I did mod all this on stream last night. Uh, my, my buddy, um, my buddy Barely Arcane, one of our, our great mods here, actually put together a uh, a little thing for me to, to, to install all of these automatically, not automatically, but a little easier. So last night at the Cozy stream, I did that all on stream. So you guys can have kind of an idea about how it works. But again, that specific group is not available publicly. We are sorry about that. So that is all again in the code.tv such DAO mods. None of these mods are, are change, like game changing in any way. We aren't adding uh, fan content or anything like that. There are a couple mods that do some cool things, um, like one of them lets us, I think, use the Mabari dog for most of the run, which is kind of fun, but not too bad. Um, there's uh, ones that restore some cut content from Morrigan that the devs put in that didn't actually make it into the full game. And there's some graphic enhancements, there's some fixed packs, things like that, so. Okay. Let's do this. Yes, there's pretty much, there are, I, I think there's, Five or ten nude mods. Pretty much everyone's just nude. Yeah. Everyone's just nude. And so as a golden blackened city blackened with each step you take in my home marvel. The Chantry teaches us et cetera, et cetera. that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. Mm. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darkspawn. I don't remember any of this. This is so glorious. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation.
until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Nice. Hashtag Duncan was right. Okay, first of all, Greg Greg. Love this place and have enjoyed all my time here. Fantastic job, Comods and chat. All the good shows. Kobongo's Boop, Good Vibes, MVP, ML, and L from our buddy Greg Greg with the 69 month E2. I do. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you're going to be male. I think I want to be a dwarf. But, do I want to be a warrior or a rogue? Um, I think I want to be a rogue. I think I want to be a rogue. Now, this one I'm very torn on. Dwarf Noble sounds cool, but it's like all pampery and weird. The dwarf commoner, we start off at like the very bottom rung of the dwarves. Now, I haven't done either of these ever. So, I kind of like the idea of starting at the bottom. Both are cool origins. Noble is really good. Lock picking is almost needed in this game. Oh, it absolutely is. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this. Rogue fits better with how shifty the dwarven nobles are in the game. Oh, I like that. Both are great. Okay. Let's do, let's do Noble. Let's do Dwarf Noble. Definitely never done it before. Let's do it live. Greetings. Hi. Oh, I forgot how many options you got, man. Tattoo. <laughs> Legacy tattoo asset do not use. Okay, that looks good. Tattoo color. Be great. Make it, make it blue. Um... I guess we aren't using those. Air. That's pretty good. Definitely digging the huge beard. I feel like we need to have disheveled hair because because of the rogue. I think that's good. I think that's good. Uh, Lurcia. Hey, Co, I've ex I'm excited to have been subbed to you for two years. I'm going to say I have a 15-year-old. Uh, Transcend, I love that you can watch your stream with me and know that yours is a kind and safe stream that accepts everyone. Happy Pride Month from Lurcia with the two years. Thank you, buddy. Caldeck with the 42. I watch your YouTube too much. Thank you. No, you watch my YouTube just enough. Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, I got a TikTok now. If you check stuff out there, you can uh, well, see stuff there. That's a very Co-like mop you have chosen. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. Is he a rogue trader? How dare you say those two words back to back? You know what that does to me. Okay. <clears throat> eyebrows. Shifty eyebrows there. There we go. Okay. 
Ice hair beanie? Thanks, bud. Ooh. I want a big full dwarven. Oh, God. Oh, we look terrible. I want to... I think that... Is that the fullest dwarven beard? I think it is. Uh-oh. Ancient geezer with the 10 bomb. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Hmm... It's like a pale blue. There we go with that. Wow, dude. Brow depth. Jeez. All right, I think, we're, I think we're pretty good here. Look up and look down. Oh, I forgot we even pick our portrait, man. Got it. Yep, 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 yep. Like that. Mm -mm. Okay. Looks pissed. I love it. So I think we need like. Oh, we can't lower anything. Okay. We. I. Okay. So I know for a dwarf, we want to get like eighteen strength. And then we want a bunch of decks. And then eventually, I think we're going to get the ability to make it so cunning is used instead of strength. So then we're going to want to get cunning up too. Yeah? I think that's how it works. But I think we want to get strength to like 18 so we can use all of the armor and, and weapons that we want. Right? Is that accurate? No, it's not accurate. Too much strength. Because we're playing on Nightmare. So. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to go, like, we're going to do that then. We're going to do 18 decks, 16 cunning to start with. There we go. Do I have the Shale DLC? I have the, I have, um, everything. I've got, uh, the Ultimate Edition. 18 strength is late game when you need it for the best rogue armor. Until then, it's a lost stat. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, maybe I should get a little bit of con too. For nightmare. Yeah. That. Oh my lord. Um. Probably want to get. There's no lock picking. Oh, that's, that's a class thing. Okay. So maybe I should get improved combat training. That or coercion. I'm going to get coercion to start with. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's get uh, deft hands. And... Dual weapon training, maybe? Maybe stealth. Probably dual weapon training. Get an active skill. You could get like below the belt. And then get deadly strike as soon as we can. Below the belt is the old dick twist. Oh, well, I mean, obviously. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Xenoblade will be um, in the cozy streams and afternoon streams when I finish up King Arthur, which is apparently the game that never ends. Yeah. Here we go! Woo! Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. 
Secure in Orzammar's impregnable construction, the Dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Fun. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endrin of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the noble assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission, the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Unacceptable. You wish to wear your shield Hang to him. the noble's feast. No? Can we do that? No. So, uh, we do have a couple uh, mods that are going to dramatically blow up the size of the inventory and the subtitles, as you can see, and things of that nature. Um, keep in mind, though, there are some parts where it's going to pixelate things a little bit, but really without these mods there i mean it's the difference between being like this on your screen or like that like it's it's real bad so um yeah i wouldn't even wear the armor if not for tradition why not when a man does the unexpected he confuses his enemies the assembly lords aren't fond of being confused Tonight, we should stick to traditional garb. Next feast, though, elf ears. That'd be unexpected. <laughs> you, my friend, are ridiculous. One can't take all this like marching this about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. What sort of grievances? The usual. This lord had my cousin killed. This lord seduced my wife. This lord did the exact thing I'd planned to do to him, but he did it first. They pose and bluster, and each pretends he is the honorable man in a den of thieves and assassins. Bah. The rest is worth seeing, though. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. Thanks. You better bring pom-poms. Uh, quick note, by the way, we are adding a cam bar as we speak. So I, I will eventually be sitting above the dialogue so you can read the options. Let's go see the merchants. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. New ability, auto loot nearby. New quest, Sepulchre's Pass. East State Pranks. Ozamar Politics. Dwarven Faith. The Nobles Feast. Okay. Cool. Oh my lord, it looks so good. Damn, do these mods make a huge difference? As you say. Wait, did I just auto loot that? Maybe. Oh, look at that. Dude, I like it. So wait, I can turn auto loot on and off. How does that work? The new ability. Let's see, where, where are my abilities? Um, it'll take a sec to get all this down. Oh, cool, I have a cam bar. Fantastic. Oh, looks good, too. Pop it up there. If I go up here. Here we go. Dwarven resistance. Okay, so it's not up here. Skills. Not there. Character sheet. It's an option? I don't know if I want auto loot on, because I want to be able to see the actual like 
things that I'm looting. I want to see their icons and stuff. May take that off later. We'll see. I could have sworn it said I got the ability, but I definitely don't see the ability. Give me. See, how do I rotate the camera? Oh, right mouse button. Cool. Oh yeah, I got a wide camera. That's fine. There we go. Mm -hmm. No sign of trouble here. My Balin. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. Saw that last night. Still don't know what that is. Hey. Hmm. Okay, a lot of tutorial stuff down there. We good? Isn't there a way to hide? Ah, oh, it's tab. There it is. Great. You sure you want to go to the feast now? I doubt we can escape to see the provings once we're inside. No. Let's go see the provings first. I can't wait to see who's fighting today. We go over here. M and P. Good morning. Your father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the diamond quarter during these celebrations. Do I have money? Joe, we can work gold. this out reasonably. It's in the records. There's nothing I can do. Rude. Ah, my friend. Enjoying the festivities so far? Quite. Quite. Have you heard about tomorrow's assault on the Darkspawn burrows? Who hasn't? They say they are going to strike a blow at the Horde, but rumor has it they are actually searching for Bronca. The Paragon? Bronca? Is that Why the green search? guy with the electricity? The ancestors have risen her up to join them. You don't think she's still out there? Impossible. Oh, man. He would be a huge ad. Fifty ad. silvers for such a small bolt of cloth? That's, That's outrageous. You certainly have some gall, merchant. But my lord, these are surface silks dyed with the finest saffron and indigo and embroidered by skilled elven tradesmen. I've seen Prince Balin Iduken himself wearing a robe made of something quite similar. So I pay your exorbitant price only to end up looking like a poor imitation of Prince Balin. <laughs> You'll get no coin from me. But that's not what I meant, my lord. My lord! Oh, he disappeared. My lord Iduken, you honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? Gorham, why is this man speaking to me? First conversion. Please, look as you will. Glamour charm. This minor magical charm captures the viewer's attention and distract. Oh, pretty. I want that. Um. I put it on. Oh. Our trust follow, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling second, I will ask for it. Yes, your highness. Don't speak to Gorm like that. I speak to lower houses and castes as they should be spoken to. Now do as I say. Alan, you want to jump in here? 
You're on your own. I've been dealing with them all afternoon. What exactly is that supposed to mean, little brother? Uh, nothing, Trian. I've been having a great time. The speech you gave to the legless boy about hard work and making something of himself was fantastic. As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you, get to the feast! <laughs> it's cute, I think you can order me around. I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. Wow. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. Jesus. He's got to be alive to be king. Perhaps this isn't the best place for that sort of talk, <laughs> shall we? Jesus, dude. This is uh, starting off with a thing, isn't it? Um, somebody said in my skills, there should be the ability to turn off auto loot. I don't see it in here. Am, am I just like hugely missing something? Yeah, I don't see it in here. Um, barely. If I want to turn off auto loot, I can just open up that mod manager and install it, right? 